Hi lovelies, welcome back to Christina Maria Yoga. I'm Christina and today we are doing a flow for spine health. It's full of lots of juicy twists and includes lots of extension to expand the space between each vertebrae to make you a little bit taller and a little bit looser. I hope you guys enjoy this flow. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up down below. Your support means so much to me. And don't forget to click that big red button to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're going to begin today lying down in a reclined position on our backs. Allow the legs to go out nice and straight, feet falling open, and arms to go down by the sides with the palms facing up. Try to find the natural curve of the neck here as the back of the head rests down on the mat and eyes close softly. Relax any tension from the jaw or the point between the brows. And begin to bring the awareness to the breath. Lengthening each inhale and exhale, feeling the belly rise with each inhale and fall with each exhale. Inhale, we'll hug the right knee into the chest, giving a nice little squeeze as we interlace fingers around the right shin and gently begin to rock it side to side. Continuing with our deep breaths here. And then bringing the leg to stillness, we'll take the right hand to the inside of the leg and gently draw it open towards the right. Keeping that left hip and glute planted down into the mat. So just stretching out of that right, right groin and hip flexor here. Keeping neck nice and neutral. And inhale, slowly drawing the right knee back up through center. This time taking the left hand to the outside of the right knee and gently drawing the leg across the body towards the left. Extending the right arm out at shoulder height and gaze comes to look at those right fingertips. Finding a nice gentle rotation through the spine here. Remember we're just waking it up so no need to go too deep here. Inhale, slowly drawing the leg back up through center and then extending it straight back down onto the mat. Just take a breath here, noticing if one leg feels different than the other. And inhale, the left knee up into the chest, interlacing fingers around the left shin. And then gently beginning to rock the knee side to side. And bringing the leg to stillness, taking the left hand to the inside of that left thigh and drawing the leg open, keeping that right glute and hip firmly planted down into the mat.
and inhale slowly drawing the leg back up through center this time taking the right hand to the outside of that left thigh gently drawing it across the body towards the right his left arm goes out at shoulder height and gaze comes towards those left fingertips Once again, being mindful of the spine here, not going too deep as we wake up the body. Inhale, drawing the leg back up through center and slowly extending it straight back out onto the mat. Inhale, we'll bend the knees, planting the soles of the feet down onto the mat, taking the feet as wide as the mat. Allow the hands to rest softly on the belly here. And exhale to drop both knees down to the right as head turns towards the left. Inhale up through center, drop the knees down to the left as head rotates towards the right. So always gazing the opposite direction that the legs are falling. Inhale up through center, dropping knees down to the right as we look to the left. Inhale up through center, one more here, dropping knees down to the left as we look to the right. Inhale, come back up to center and hug both knees up into the chest, wrapping arms around the shins and gently rocking side to side here. Massage out that low back a little bit. And slowly rolling over onto one side using your hand to help push you up into a comfortable seated posture. Hands can gently rest on the knees, lifting spine nice and tall as we engage through the core, drawing shoulders down, and exhale we'll drop left ear to left shoulder as right fingertips come down onto the mat. Nice belly breaths here, eyes can remain closed. And inhale, coming back through center. Exhale, we'll drop right ear to right shoulder as left fingertips come down onto the mat. And inhale, slowly coming back to center. We'll find gentle neck circles here, dropping chin down and around towards the chest and then lifting chin up towards the sky moving nice and slowly on a pace that feels good in your body and feeling free to pause at points of tension to gently roll it out bringing the breath into this space and exhale to circle the other direction And, in and inhale, come back to center. We'll take right hand to the left knee as left hand releases behind us. Inhale to lift the heart up and then exhale to use that right hand to gently pull you towards the left in a twist. Maybe neck stays neutral or we gaze over that back shoulder. Uh, 
exhale coming back through center. We'll take left hand onto the right knee as right hand re releases behind us. Inhale to lift and lengthen and exhale to gently use that left hand to pull us into a twist towards the right. Being sure to listen to what feels good for the neck here. Maybe it would like to stay nice and neutral. Maybe it wants to twist a little deeper looking towards that back shoulder. Never any pain or strain when we're working with the spine. Really listening to how our body feels and backing off if needed. Exhale coming back to center. And we'll make our way into a tabletop position. Coming on to hands and knees. Making sure knees are about hip width distance apart. And we can be on the tops of the feet or toes can be tucked under, whatever is most comfortable. Inhale, drop the belly as we lift the head for cow pose. And exhale, draw belly in towards the spine as we round through the upper back and head drops, cat pose. Inhale, belly drops, head lifts. Exhale, draw belly in, head drops. Inhale, and exhale. I encourage you to move at your own pace, syncing the movement with the breath for the next few cycles here. Really pressing into the hands as you exhale to expand through that upper back. Find a nice opening here. Moving nice and slowly, feeling each vertebrae as the breath moves through it. Exhale, coming back to a neutral tabletop position. Just walk the hands about two inches forward. And then we'll exhale, lifting the knees, press the hips up and back, coming into our downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal out the feet here, bending one knee and then the other. Just loosening up the body. And exhale, walk the feet up to meet the hands, finding a forward fold. Grabbing opposite elbow with opposite hand allowing us to open up through the upper back, take a slight bend in the knees here, as maybe we bounce or sway side to side. And then exhale, releasing hands down. We'll slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, as head is the very last thing to lift. And once you come up to stand, rolling shoulders forwards and back. We'll bring hands together at heart center. Take a deep breath here. We'll move through our modified sun salutes. Inhale, rise arms up. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, hands come onto the shins as we find a flat back. Gaze is just in front of the big toes. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale, reverse swan dive, rising hands all the way up as palms touch overhead. And exhale, releasing hands to heart center. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, hands come on to the shins, finding that flat back, drawing shoulder blades together on the back of the body. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise, arms all the way up, palms touch overhead, look up towards the hands. And exhale, releasing hands to heart center. Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Last one. Inhale, reach, arms up. Exhale, fold. 
inhale flat back exhale fold inhale rise arms up palms touch overhead and exhale hands come to heart center we'll come to stand in the middle of our mat rooting into the right foot as hands come onto the hips and then inhaling left knee up finding a 90 degree angle with the foot flexed and then releasing left hand to the inside of the left of the left thigh so we gently draw the leg open and maybe extending the right arm out at shoulder height and turning our gaze to look towards those right fingertips if our balancing is having any trouble today maybe just keeping the gaze neutral shifting the gaze always makes it more challenging and then inhale draw back through center release left leg down rooting into the left leg now we'll inhale lift the right knee up finding 90 degrees with the foot flexed we'll take right hand to the inside of the right thigh drawing the leg open and then maybe taking left arm out at shoulder height and bringing the gaze towards those left fingertips If we fall out of the balancing posture, just come right back into it. No need for judgment here. Just try your best. And then inhale, slowly draw yourself back through center and releasing right leg down. Shake everything out, give it a good little shake as we step back up to the top of the mat bringing hands together at heart center. Inhale, let's rise arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, finding a flat back. And exhale, fold. Plant the hands in the mat. Step back to our downward facing dog. We're gonna focus on the spine here. So exhale as we bend into the knees. And inhale, straighten the legs. Good. Exhale. Take a deep knee bend, keeping the spine straight, sinking down into the arms. And inhale to straighten. Keep playing with this movement. Taking a nice deep knee bend, keeping the spine straight, hips high. Pressing into the hands. Good. You really feel like we're opening up through the armpits as we bend through the knees. And then exhale, look towards the hands as we step right foot forward, dropping left knee down onto the mat. Root left hand into the mat as we use the right hand to gently open up that right thigh coming onto the pinky toe edge of that right leg. And then looking up over that right shoulder, finding a gentle twist here through the body as we open up through the hip. And keep breathing in this posture. Inhale, draw yourself back through center, placing that right hand on the outside of the right foot curling the back left toes under, lifting the back left knee, and pressing back to our downward facing dog. Nice deep breath here. And exhale, look towards the hands, stepping left foot forward as we drop right knee down onto the mat. Root right hand into the mat as we use the left hand to gently open up that left leg, coming onto the pinky toe edge of that left foot and looking up over that left shoulder. Nice big belly breaths here. And inhale, drawing the leg back through center, placing left hand on the outside of the left foot as we curl back right toes, lift back right knee, and gently press back to our downward facing dog. Taking nice deep breaths here. Pressing into both hands evenly, draw the shoulders away from the ears. 
And then exhale, dropping down onto the knees. Bring big toes to touch as we release forehead onto the mat, coming into child's pose. Arms can rest by the head or come down towards the feet to round through the spine a little bit more. Two more deep breaths. And then slowly pulling yourself up into a tabletop position and swinging the legs around to come to seated. We'll extend both legs straight out in front of us, sitting up nice and tall, core is engaged. Feet are flexed and thighs are contracted here. We'll inhale, hug the right knee into the chest. Take that left arm, wrap it right around the right knee as we release right hand behind us. Inhale, lifting up the spine nice and tall. And exhale, gently twisting from the core. Maybe neck stays neutral or gaze comes towards that right shoulder. Making sure to keep that left foot flex, protecting the low back. Inhale, slowly coming back through center, releasing right leg down, and then hugging left knee into the chest, making sure right toes are flexed, sitting up nice and tall. Take that right arm, wrap it around the left leg as we release left hand behind us. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall, straight spine, and exhale, twisting out of the core. Inhale, slowly coming back through center and straightening out that left leg. We'll come all the way down into a reclined position, however you want to get there, lying on our backs. And then we'll bend the knees up so soles of the feet are planted on the mat once again. Feet are about hip width distance apart. And we'll inhale, taking the right ankle, crossing it over the left knee. Use that right hand to gently press away the right knee, making sure right foot is flexed here. And then exhale, slowly dropping the right sole of the foot down towards the left. Arms go out at shoulder height, and gaze goes towards those right fingertips. Maybe using the left hand on that top of the right leg, and gently pulling it down a little closer towards the ground. You'll feel a deeper stretch in that right glute. And inhale, slowly coming back up through center uncrossing the legs and planting the right sole of the foot back onto the mat. We'll inhale, bringing left ankle over top of the right knee, making sure left foot is flexed as we gently use the left hand to press away the left knee, finding a little bit of an opening here. And then slowly releasing the left sole of the foot down towards the right as arms go out at shoulder height and gaze comes towards the left fingertips. Maybe using that right hand on the top of the left thigh to gently pull the leg down closer towards the ground to feel the stretch a little deeper in that left glute. And 
Inhale, slowly coming back up through center, planting the left sole of the foot back onto the mat. We'll extend both legs straight out onto the mat, feet falling open, drawing shoulder blades together on the back of the body, as arms released down by the sides with the palms facing up. Allow the body to feel really heavy here, eyes are closed, releasing any tension that we may be holding, and bringing the awareness back to the breath here. I invite you to stay in our final resting pose of Shavasana for as long as you would like, soaking up that beautiful practice that you just participated in. I hope you feel relaxed, renewed, and restored. Namaste. Thanks so much for doing that flow with me, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. And don't forget to click that big red button to subscribe so you don't miss another flow with me. I post new videos every Sunday, so be sure to come back and check me out. You can also flow throughout the week with me. I post daily videos on my Facebook and Instagram page. The links are in the description box down below. Also, if you'd like to do some more flows, feel free to click around on the screen for some of my previous videos if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Lots of love. Just what?